day's jobs is going to be making this around for uh, a Thetford toilet. I know some people don't like putting toilets in camper vans, some people do. Uh, I figure if I put one in, I might put it in as a removable pod, so it doesn't have to be in all the time. But it's a fully sealed contained unit, it's exactly the ones that you get in modern caravans of these days. Uh, it's not one of the really old style ones, it's uh, one of the ones that swivels around as well. So I'm going to be having a unit going across. Uh, the kitchen unit is going to be next to it as well, but there's going to be a divider. And as I say, this is all going to get boxed in using the same materials that I've used for the uh, fridge surround. It's all going to be black gloss glitter uh, units all the way along. The kitchen units I'm probably going to be doing tomorrow. So today I've already just made a quick surround for the wheel arch. I've already carpeted the wheel arch, but I say if I'm going to have a toilet in there, I want to box it off just so then there's somewhere to store bog roll uh, stuff like that so uh, I'm, I'm thinking of possibly even putting a little sink going along there as well but I'm undecided on that yet so the first job of the day is going to be getting the unit made for the toilet getting it all boxed in fitted in see how it looks right so I've finished on the template for boxing in the toilet around uh, surround uh, because I'm using the black gloss uh, worktop, the sparkle stuff, it's really expensive so I figured I might as well just chop up a four pound piece of uh, really cheap flimsy stuff uh, rather than wrecking a couple of hundred pounds worth of worktop. So that's the template pretty much all sorted with the cut out for the back, I just need to do the cut out for the, uh, where the cassette actually slides out as well. But other than that it's coming along and uh, I'm going to soon start working on the uh, kitchen unit as well. I say I'm just concentrating on the toilet side at the moment just trying to get that all sorted and then I can throw the rest of the day into the kitchen unit so I'm going to start cutting out some bits for that and uh, see how we get on just had the door flap for the toilet cut in the unit. Again I used the template that I had before just to be sure that the hole was going to be wide enough, big enough, uh, cut in the right place because I'd rather ruin a pound's worth of cheap crappy wood like that than uh, the expensive glitter stuff so that's a nice fit. I'm going to have like a piano hinge just in there just so I can open up and take the cassette out. So that's the unit coming along, I've just got a couple more bits to do and then uh, that'll be that all boxed in. Right, so that's the toilet unit all complete now. As I say, I've built it totally separate to the kitchen unit, just in case I sell the van and somebody likes the layout but they don't like the thought of having a toilet in there, it can just be unscrewed from the ply panel at the back and just taken straight out. So for the unit itself, I've cut the top uh, base it all the way along there I've put a continuous piano style hinge on there so that now just lifts up and clicks into a little holder door wise I've then cut the main front panel in half and then again with another continuous piano hinge going all the way down it means it can open and just fold back on itself like that I can just push it up against there and I say that's a, a full self contained unit now uh, the toilet itself just swivels round lifts up straight down and straight back again the door just slides straight back clicks into place and then I've just got a little retaining hook there as well just to make sure it's not swinging out while driving again that's just like a post office lever type in so you just tap that up and that releases the lid now the unit itself is secured to the back of the uh, actual unit that I've built uh, the door itself I've just cut a hole at the back and again just with another type of uh, continuous hinge that just opens straight up, a little lever under there and then that allows the unit to pull straight out, straight in and away you go. I've just left the key in there for the uh, uh, 
for the refill for the water as well so that just again unlocks flips down and that's where you fill the water for the flush tank and it's a manual flush so it just lifts straight up straight down and it just flushes straight away so again just lock that away leave the key somewhere nice and safe so you don't lose it shut the door and there you go that's how i've built my uh, full toilet unit that's fully removable using a thetford c200 toilet with the swivel ball again i've just put a bit of a uh, utility area behind there as well just to keep uh, cleaning cloths and uh, toilet roll bits and bobs like that as well so there you go as i say it's completely removable so if in the long run somebody didn't like the uh, having the toilet unit in there it's just literally a case of a few screws that are mounting it to the back of the ply a couple more screws on the base literally five minutes if that and the entire unit will come out and it won't affect the kitchen unit as i say that itself is a totally individual unit itself as well so if that came away it would just leave a load of free area at the back there for the van so there we go that's how i've built my uh full fully contained toilet unit with the swivel ball in the back of my vw t4 so it's just nice and easy available within seconds if ever needed in an emergency and as I say, by the time you just swivel it away shut the door shut the lid and nobody's any the wiser of what's actually there so i hope you found the uh, video useful if you did by all means have a look at my channel i'm pretty much documenting the entire conversion of this high top on there job by job so have a look on there uh, feel free to subscribe to all the usual youtube stuff if you like the video feel free to rate it share it try and help others who are doing similar sort of conversions as well so yeah i hope you found the video useful and thanks for watching cheers bye